Welcome back. We're going to start it here with the grand finals. It's going to be OG versus Tundra in what could be, well, the longest season. I mean, we've seen a lot of two zeros. We've seen all two zeros. So I'm hoping for at least, you know, that um, fourth game to come into the grand finals. There is a big group up. Level one. Is this going to be enough kill potential coming through? Now Pure walks himself right up. There's going to be the Hunter wave coming out now. Five heroes collapsing on the bushwhack. The damage of Pure. No way he gets out of this now. Right? No, oh no way he does. God. And Yuragi will pick up that first blood. Really nicely done. And we'll see now, Seven a little bit of trouble now as well, Sticky Bomb comes through, there is going to be space in between now as well, can he get the kill? God's Rebuke, Seb, he is going to be run down, MC picks it up, and White Mon might just have to give it up the bushwhack, does it connect onto the tree? It does, BZM level 6, does he want to try and go into this one? He does have the Sonic Wave if he wants to blink in, but not a lot of mana left onto BZM, so might not want to spend it all here, trying to get the kill, Seb coming through as well, onto the bench, Haunted Wave onto White Mon, he's going to connect onto White Mon, Sonic Wave, is that going to be enough damage? It is just enough, BZM picks it up, gets the Arcane Rune, Maybe just too close to that tier 1 tower for OG to want to, to think about diving it. But speaking about diving it, the Chronosphere comes out onto the techie. Surely they're going to be able to get this kill. The nut shot coming through here from Ari. And Yuragi will be able to pick it up. And now the magic missile coming through into a first work. And there should be a fire rider going down. Or maybe not if MC can help it. He does get the kill onto Yuragi. That's exactly what happened. So not worth it for him, I think, uh, dying. For Thompson, he's actually going to be able to throw the EMP into the tornado now as well. Seb just get that much missile off from that time dilation. Arena does come out though from MC. Thompson can he walk himself away from this one. The Sonic Wave on the two though. They might be able to get the kill into Thompson and now the walls of the arena fall. And that's going to be one. Can they get another one on this one as well? There's going to be the rotation in from Whisper and Seb giving it the voice line right back after the tip. So, first deposit, that's a banner blow on the screen. promo code DXB2024. Thompson coming in. EMP though. There's going to be jump away from Ari. Ari's the cold stamp as well as that Earth once again. Rotation in from the void. Can they get kill though onto Ari. Ari will go down the back lines. BZM, he does take down Pure, but we're going to see the Batrider now as well. Sonic Wave commit onto the Invoker. Invoker well, Lasso White slowing one. down on Yuragi just a little bit longer now for the damage you get all three of them. <laughs> and Radiant we see here the Mars stepping up, not close to the moon. Actually going back for the old tornado. Can I touch the two boards here now? Toby Yuragi comes through. Hits up the Queen of Pain. Can we get the damage onto the BZM before he goes down? And BZM, well, the swap comes out. Yuragi, a little bit more protection. It looks like he might be able to get everybody out here. If you want to fight back into this one, OG, he might do Yuragi. He still doesn't have that chronosphere, but he might be able to get the kill onto MC. MC getting low. But does he actually go down? Sharpshoots are going to be tanked here. The techies, he's going to be the one to fall. Whisper might try and carry on challenging into this one. He does have the, uh, the damage if he needs to use it, but he actually he chooses to use the skewer to get himself away. Nah, he connects onto three. Does he have to jump in now as well? Sonic Wave though. It's going to be onto both of the Mega, excuse me, the Meepo Clones. And the damage he get the kill onto Pure Ari trying to run himself away with the EMP. It will finish off the kill. So the two supports here for at least at a corner support. And it looks like, do they want to go on the back lines? Drag back here onto White Man underneath the tier two tower. And I think that was the RP committed there as well. It was to get the kill onto the Batrider. But a really nice one here. But BZM, spear to the tree. Did he get the kill to BZM? BZM, does he have the health to survive going through this one? Gets that blink away. MC taking the tower shots. Yuragi, does he want to try and, try and walk himself into this? And Thompson, he snipes BZM on the back lines. Couldn't really get himself away. Thompson with the TP out. Radiant right, they, they work that way. When you have Zoom, so like and Visage. And when you have a Meepo in your team. Getting, increasing all of those Meepo's damage by 20% and giving them life to super strong Whisper. Oh, does he go down here? Spear, God's weak. Anything, the swap comes out here from Seb, but is that enough to keep Whisper alive? Whisper's still going to go down. It looks like Seb, sacrificial lamb was trying to be the play. BZM comes into the back lines now as well. Thompson, though, he does have that fire to come through. Time dilation going to be used. Hiragi might be looking for the Chronosphere there, but he wasn't able to catch anybody. And now the magic missile comes through. Sonic Wave, White Mon survives a little bit longer. BZM will secure the kill after this one, though. And MC with the patches. The arena gets thrown through here, but Yuragi, he might still hunt onto this one. Time walks forward. Yeah, let's go to the Chronosphere. The tornadoes come through. Find a little bit of time now as well, and even into the death of blast, but MC will still go down. Thompson revealed by the dust jump in. We've got four heroes from OG. Can he do anything? He's going to be tied to a tree and beaten, and BZM gets himself a triple kill. I'm impressed by how aggressive they're playing, because that is not how I used to think of Thunder in fact. Uh, jump in, there's going to be a magic missile here onto Wyman, jumping out now as well with that damage coming through from Ari. And they have the shot coming through, and BZM's going to be able to secure the kill, but the jump, Whisper, he's going to be able to get the kill onto Tech. He's good, jump, drag back in now as well. Like, people were already going for Witchblade before, there was an upgrade before. Yeah. Uh, oh. Even Revenant wrote uh, existed, and now Parasma just feels like this. One more upgrade. 
He comes back into this one. They might be able to do the damage onto Ari though. Ari caught into the tornado. So his tornado. whisper flame break won't connect though. And the sharp shoots comes out from Ari. Spirit vessel still on top of him. He will survive through it. And now through the trees to get the chrono sphere to get the lockdown onto one of the fjords. There's gonna be a couple more fjords joining him now as well. That is just pure chaos. And Yuragi gets the kill. Oh, the blast off. They get the kill onto Yuragi. This is gonna be a really nice pickup and a nice blast. He gets that XP now as well. Oh. RP on to two, three on top. Sonic wave now as well. The drive back. MC taking a lot of damage tonight. And the plus getting close as well. BZM. He has that shadow strike coming out. MC killing himself away from the danger PZ. I'm going to try and do what he can with these right clicks. He will go down in the end to Thompson. It looks like we're going to trade them off. One for one for one for one. And it just in the end, MC survives. Does he want to go for the kill onto Ari? Make it a uh, four for four. He doesn't want to show himself. Whisper is still hunted here. MC in the trees. And it looks like he's just trying to get himself away. He's got that stealth for a big man. And he will be able to sneak himself out. He was still right clicking until he died. Uh, really good fight from OG. But the good advantage somehow very close still. Yeah, which one comes out? Lands onto MC. But what else lands on there? Skip attack, he's diving himself through. They do get the kill onto Whisper. Tornado, it connects onto the uh, onto Seb, excuse me, not onto the face of Void and Seb. He's going to be surrounded by heroes. It's a massive mock pit with Seb in the middle, and he is going to be kicked down. Uh, what do you want to build into first on this speed point? Do you think it's Ari in a little bit of trouble? Does get the back work into the sharpshooter? Tornado won't connect. The Spirit Vessel is on him. Flame Break pushes him further away here. Ari may be saying thank you for that one. Stern Strike, does he walk back into it? He doesn't. Delays just long enough. Ari will be away for the rest of the team to catch up now. Night Class for the net will be here on Yuragi. Yuragi caught in the arena. Sonic Wave comes out, but Yuragi is already dead. MC, chase on Whisper. Does he want to try and maybe turn this around? Has the RP. But do they have the damage to get the kill now? The Sonic Wave's already been used. Jumped in, and he might be able to catch on to Seb. Get Seb locked down and killed off. Looks like they're going to try and maybe bait them into the rose pit, Seb. He is close. Bombs exploding left, right, and center here. Tundra, they back themselves away. They're looking for the BZM. hijack. Onto this one. BZM, yeah, caught in the net. Jumped forwards. And it looks like the arena just come through, but it's going to be the BKB for the face of sports. And maybe MC, a step too far here for the God of War. And it looks like Yuragi, he wants to actually dive out for the techies back lines, though. They don't finish the kill just yet. Mars, he might go down. He does go down to the challenge, but he's got to control. BZM, 12 comes out. We're going to be able to get that really big RPG on the back lines now as well. Catching out all those Meepos. Getting the kill onto White Man. Again, there is still that Chronosphere to come out. He wants to throw it out here. Maybe he does. But the net, it locks him down for a little bit longer. Where's that damage going to come from? It's going to be the scream as well. Coming through from BZM. Can they get the kill onto at least one? Meepo, the Sonic Wave, it commits, and this time they do get the kill on the pure Thompson. Trying to get himself away, the TP, is there going to be any damage to bash, anything to stop him down, slow him down, Seb comes in, the Magic I Missile, they get the absolutely the everybody here, OG, even into the pit. Both supports from the side of Tundra Bushwhack, it won't connect, Sharp Shooter does come through, but it looks like Tundra, they are going to be away. Oh, uh, oh, whisper. oh man. That is Ooh. not where you want to be. Nine class. He turns it around. Going to be able to walk this into a minefield. Even without the accept now as well. He gets the kill onto oh, Whisper. Sun Strike now as well. Can they get the kill onto Yuragi? Yuragi going to be able to get the time walk away. But it looks like Tundra. Like you said, they want to get aggressive here. Might be able to jump onto BZM. BZM shows. Was it? Backline's actually going to be the last one to Ari. They engage on the both heroes and then onto BZM. BZM. But Crossfire catches onto pretty much all of the pures and pure. Can they get the kill onto this one? They've already got a lot of damage coming through onto him. BZM might come back in. Seb will go down. Yuragi going to be forced to time walk himself away from this one. The BKB for top. So do they have the control of the net comes out? It latches onto Yuragi. Great oh, RP one. though. Catches onto the pures as well as MC. Do they have the damage to follow it up? They might be able to pop onto it. Ooh, well, at least the techies to get the top some invoking now as well. Chase down for Pure. Being right clicked up by Yuragi. There is going to be a flame break now as well, but they have the nest to turn it around. The Rod of Atos, it might be enough for Pure and Pure. He is going to be able to jump himself away, so at least one of the Meepos, all of the Meepos jump out. And the TP away, Pure, he might be able to heal up, come right back into this fight if he wants to. Yuragi, though, he's looking forward with the time walk, slowing down to MC. MC can get himself away. Well, not with those back he can't. The lockdown from the damage, and Ari is going to be able to help Yuragi claim the kill. And now, our high ground, Pure is right back into it. Whisper is low. Can't really survive through this one. It's a good folks coming through as well as Yuragi, Yuragi, he's going to try and get himself out of the poofs. Not effective on the Mega Meepo uh, onto Yuragi. Yuragi was already away from the damage. So, Pure, he's been slowed down. He's been bushwhacked. I think even the, the Haunting Wave connected the, the Rod of Atos for the lockdown. Do they have enough to chunk through this Pure? And Pure, well, Yuragi back onto the high ground, actually. The jump up, the swap now as well. Seb going to be able to throw a shield onto Yuragi. Yuragi got pretty down low. He's so tanky. How much control he even burrows through now. Will be able to split himself up. But do they have the lockdown? They've got the stun onto one of the Meepo. Oh, Meepo. He's no, he's dug. He's in the ground. He heals up, comes back. Seb getting close to going down once again. Yuragi, he's going to make like a fifth attempt this time. Finally gets the kill on the Pure. Chase down nine class will fall. But how long did it take to take down Pure? There's nobody else focuses him here, so the damage isn't enough, and Ari survives through it. Yeah, he gets a really good structure as well. 
the pipe of the tank is Oh, back to life! Pure, he is straight up dead. The second glyph plus how much time you buy is enough for you to fire. That's the game. You really don't want to engage unless the melee barracks is like about to fall. Oh, oh so on the 9 class though, there's not going to be anyone skew it back. I think the odds of this one because 9 class is going to be up back onto the high ground. He's getting taken down and Seb. He trades his life for that one, but he's going to be the ghost one. Back line secure. Trying to jump into Ari. Ari can get himself away from this one. The Mega Meepo comes out. There is going to be a jump back in. And it looks at the damage. Do we have enough here to get the kill? Me, MC wants to get involved in this now as well. Sonic Wave permits Pure though. He's still going to be alive. There is going to be a really nice bonus for catching onto all three cores. They get the kill onto Pure. They get the kill onto 9 class. So let's go to Thompson RP now as well. MC goes down, jump in. He rises, right, he wants to kill Thompson. Thompson in the ghost form. He's going to be able to get himself away from this one. He's not going to be able to get out. He does die. And that is going to be GG being called. 37 minutes, 38 minutes in, 41 to 25. And OG, they withstand the Mega Meepo pressure and they take this game. The second game of the series, it is a best of five in this grand finals. And it's not like there's an actual hard stun here in the lane with the Phoenix's support. So Mars should always be able to get at least one of the two skills off and force that Ursa away. Right. But mid lane, Thompson gonna be taking a lot of damage here. Slide of this comes out in BZM. He will get the kill. Good rotation. They even get the kill onto Pure in the off lane. Yeah, no hard lockdown on on Tundra apart from the telekinesis. It's never good. It's dead in vacuum. Oh, they do kill BZM there. Nicely done by Thompson. Okay, and uh, network wise, actually behind the Ursa, but he's doing better. Yeah, it's a bit pure. Uh, gonna be locked down again. As there is gonna be a Seb here. A little bit since they actually qualified to LN, and uh, I'm sure they missed that that uh, feeling quite a lot. Yeah, and MC is he actually gonna be controlled through oh, this one now? As well, the vacuum the comes out, doesn't actually connect onto him. And Yuragi chased down. The right click's coming through though. The dark pack and might be enough for the kill. One more right click. Yuragi will be able to pick it up. The first charge on the permanent Agi stack as well as Whisper throws out the arena. Rotation came through from nine class. It cost them their off laner, and they don't get anything in return. <laughs> that might be a little bit better here for jump in though from the Phoenix. They might try and go into the Mars. There's the corn coming through now as well. Ari, what can he do? The pushback. Mars will go down finally. And Night Glass is going to be able to hunt the squirrel down. Ari will fall. A lot of magic damage besides the Slark. Uh, and we actually saw that from. I'm not sure if you're guessing me. Oh, BCM. Nine class, yeah. I think it'll be able to relocate from it now as well. Nine class, he did pick up the amplified damage room, but he's going to go down. BCM gets the kill, jump in. Well, this could be a supernova. Maybe caught in two minutes again as well. And is he going to be able to break it? Yuragi, one more right click, and BCM. He gets himself right back into the fight. Will be able to get it now as well. Thompson trying to get himself away from the damage. Sharpshooter does come through. BCM backing himself away. Spirit Vessel on him now as well. Yuragi trying to deal with these illusions. Getting low, but not low enough to get the kill. Trying to farm through the jungle as well, going towards his Rodoveto, so we might see that semi-core build coming out for the words now. But MC Sharpshooter's not going to be on the mark now, so BZM the chase down comes out. Wall will be used. BZM, does he care about this one? There is going to be the dead shot through now. For the slight of this, he picks up the kill. But that's, to me, the biggest flaw of their draft. There is no one that MC can win. just going to come down. Yeah, look at this, the sound's coming out now as well. Nine class will pop the pierce veil. There is going to be the telekinesis sound to BZM. BZM, though, he walks through the arena, back into this fight. Even Yuragi could be able to grab back up the Seb and that relocate. They get themselves two. I think to make more of this one now as well. BZM's going to be able to get the slide of the Searing Chains, and this Phoenix, he is going nowhere. This is going to be a good three kills. Uh, you don't really have this wall for Thompson to play and get some kills. Oh, like here. Oh, yeah, Deadshot is going to miss, and like you say, Yuragi, he's going to be able to get that pounce away. The Dark Pack coming out as well, just to make sure there's nothing else that can lock him down. So back into this one. There is going to be the Wings of the Wings Seb coming through now as well. The Phoenix, though, with the Sunray, they do the damage. They do more than enough damage to get the kill to Night Class. Chase down into Pure. Pure, he's going to have to try and pop this Rage to get himself away from this one now as well. Tell Phoenix to not Yuragi. Yuragi's got that Dark Pack chase down now once again. Phoenix with the Icarus dive away from this one. Pure's not going to be able to run himself away. Thompson's not going to be able to run himself away. Phoenix isn't going to be able to dive himself away to save the MC survives. Purely for the fact that he's not here. Yeah, and you see that, well, Deadshot, BZM, gonna be pushed back just a little bit. Pure could be in a little bit of trouble now as well, gonna get himself away from this one. He does have that rage up here, he needs to get himself out here, survive for a little bit longer. Yeah, the bushwhack will be used here, but Pure trying to get himself out. He's throwing that ultimate, but the right was coming through. Yuragi, he's absolutely fine with this. The longer it takes to get the kill onto the Ursa, the more stacks he's gonna take. And now the Pace of comes up from 9 plus. There is gonna be the Supernova, there is the arena comes up, stalked by Thompson. So the second arena comes out now as well. Can they get the kill onto Whisper? The Supernova will pop Whisper, might be the sacrificial lamb. No, Shab comes in, he has the real oh. count on time, he does. And his team, they might be able to re engage. 
damage onto this one now as well. He's just going to be able to maybe get the heals up onto Whipper. Whipper comes right into this one with the help of BZM, with the diamond from Yuragi, and they are absolutely cooking here in game number two. They get the kill onto Thompson's dead. They've got the kill onto Pure. Pure's dead now. They've got the spear onto Yuri, and it looks like they want to go for even more onto this now as well. Dive in tier three towers when tier twos are still up. OG, they are absolutely cooking here in game number two. No, it feels like one of the others has always been dead. And look at this now as well. Yuragi's just going to dive into the base onto MC. MC's going to try and do what he can with that mechanism to heal him up. The Sunray comes through now as well, but the damage he just stacks up and up and up and up and up and up and they still get the kill. Yuragi, he's going to be able to get himself way out of this one. Surely, yeah, the dive away past that tier three. The relocate comes out from Seb, Seb just to make sure. Because I really like this pickup after. Uh, okay. Pure. The relocate, relocate they comes really in. want him. Yeah, he's already used to it. He's going to be able to get the jump away to pounce him down now from Yuragi. They're really going to be able to block him for his path. And he might be able to get another kill to MC. MC trying to do it with a couple of mechanisms to keep his teammates and himself alive now as well. The dead jump can be used here. But BZM wants to chase him. He's going to be able to get the jump in here with the Serum Chains. With that slight fist now as well. Can he get the kill onto Thompson as well? Thompson trying to get that jump away. But it's not going to be enough. He's forced to use that heal stuff on himself and Yuragi. The q and up for the kill. And it will be another one. Whisper does get him down. Ari will fall eventually. Supernova for Yuragi. He's going to be able to crack that egg. They're going for a full five man team up here. Yuragi picks it up, BZM with the monster kill streak. For the first time in the game where they proactively did something that worked, but it still hurts. Like, they need so much more. Yeah, Telkinis just comes out onto Ari Ari though. He's still able with the Spirit Vessel being on top of him. He's not going to go down. Sharp shoots it. It, whoa, it connects onto the Phoenix. And, well, no Duck Hunt here to play to Ari to get the full kill. What was stolen? It's going to be the slight of fist. Meanwhile, they pop the Aegis. Oh, they're going to be able to get a kill onto the Phoenix now as well. Supernova comes out. They run themselves away. This time they will back themselves out. They have the control onto BZM, but BZM just jumps himself and waits for the Revenant. And nobody gets done. The Arena! The Arena comes true onto two of them now as well. The damage from the Spear, that's going to be the, the Shard Spear as well. So the lockdown on two heroes inside the Arena. They've got two kills. They're just diving Fountain now. They are making an absolute menace of themselves here. OG coming through a pure. Did he dive the Fountain? They do. The Fountain Fountain onto this one. And pure is the last man standing the battle from MC. But I think this is going to be G. GG as OG dive in 32 and a 24k net worth lead here 25 minutes into the game Tundra they just did not look at the races here in game number two to what could be the final game of the entire qualifiers coming out now because OG they are just running riot against Tundra and you might be able to get a quick kill in the slaves done oh my god oh no MC do you have any fault they don't there was no Dragon Slave. The uh, LSA was still on cooldown. Me on the top lane. Whisper will be able to take down White Mon. Well, yeah, you uh, you said it yourself, and uh, Whisper. It just feels like it doesn't matter what the, the matchup is. He's so confident on the heroes he's picking at the minute, and we'll see. Nine class. Does he go down? He does. Seb is going to be going to pick up that kill. Oh, this is hell. Seb traps comes down. Thompson's going to be slowed down. Haunted Wave comes in now. What's that magic missile to connect? Thompson is only going to be level 5 now. So it's going to try and do what he can to simulate. Jump out. Did he get the kill onto BZM? BZM going to be taking a lot of damage. Even taking the tower shots into this now as well. BZM trying to run himself away. It will be Nine Class that picks up the kill. Trap gets popped. Slows down. All three heroes won't be able to go for any more after this one. Even taking the trap damage now as well. But BZM still goes down to a nice kill here on the side of Tundra. But Thompson not over just yet. There will be the magic missile onto Thompson. And Thompson, well, my amount of. Ari, Ari finds the courier, and Nine Class now he might be able to get instant revenge onto this one. Ari level three, so is Nine Class trying to trade this one up, but I mean Nine Class is a little bit lower health. Has to be careful. Silas comes out onto Ari. Ari's going to try and bait him into the trees. Well, the tree's going to be broken here. But was that push? Okay, it connects the acorn shot. Maybe tries to deny himself to the neutrals. Nine Class. Well, he ain't got no class here. He goes down to Ari and or second pick hoodwink. And it, it, it's amazing every single time. Oh, they're even going to be able to go LSA connects here. Laguna Blade, it rips through MC. Okay, you definitely need to be playing as three, maybe four here for Tundra. So they can get, they're spreading the map so thin on OG to get as much farm as they can. Look at this. Dissimulate has to come out for Thompson. He does have an astral step if he needs it. The trap comes out once again. Oh, the calling. Sounds here onto BZM. BZM, did you want to go, try and go for the chase? One more right for Thompson. Tries to dive over it and BZM pops the illusion to try and carry on chasing so he doesn't take the tower shots. Refraction charges. Trap now again. Does he? No come matter. on, man. It's not even 10 minutes in. You dive in tier 3 tower. One more right click. Thompson goes down. Surely they get the kill. It's a tier 3 tower backing you up. Get the kill into BZM. BZM will slow down. Three heroes. God damn, and he still looks like he was able to get himself, you know, just waste the time. Forces a TP in from pure, pure LSA connects. Laguna Blade comes in. That was, it was a bait. I'm so calling it out. BZM baits him into a great bait, mate. And Seb, he goes down to a neutral? Everything going the way of OG here. This is 
just a testament to how much OG seems to be working ever since they tried to qualify for the ESL and the TI. Uh, okay, yeah. wait a second here. As, uh, Whisper. We do have Chrono, but... The oh, Arena comes out now. Is he just going to use it to run himself away? They actually get the Chrono Sphere onto two of them, and it might get the kill onto Whisper and, well, Seb. Seb, well, Whisper's going to go down. Seb should wow. fall shortly. So, okay, that's a nice pick up here. Your Chrono Sphere, it catches onto two, and it was a good setup here. And what else do they want to do? Pure, chase down, BZM drops a trap behind him in the bushwhack, it doesn't connect. No follow up from Thompson, Thompson just trying to play it safe. BZM comes through the right, oh like nine God. class just disappears. Thompson, it suddenly comes through, there is going to be the Phoenix coming out now as well, but you look at the damage coming out on White Mon, he's going to be the next one to go down. BZM going to try and look for the chase, BZM not going to follow up onto Thompson yet. No, I'll say nothing like that to connect. Thompson will be able to get himself away. MC um, missed his uh, Uber chain. Yeah, MC. He just barely, he was slowed down. Plus, I don't remember the other team that they played, but this time, OG just going for this qualifier is hope pure. Uh, he was on about half health, so the magic missile into the LSA, it was enough time to get the damage off. Didn't even need the Lagoon Blade there to get it before he got the time walk off. Now, well, they're going to be able to get the kill into BZM. Do they get the kill into Ari as well? But what come out from Seb, even after two of his teammates die? No follow up from the side of OG, though, so they are going to let this one go. Or well, maybe not. Breath Dive in, MC. Here. You're right. Yeah. Swap available. The oh, Blade, though. Lord. Finishes off top, and Yuragi does get himself away from this one. The swap comes out from Seb. Could be able to save his carry. And now Seb in a little bit of danger. He will go down eventually. Surely he does. And it's no, not just yet. Uh, MC, he's looking for this one. The dead shot connects from downtown. And Nine Class in the end will be able to snipe Seb. But not before Seb wastes so much more time on, his t on the, the side of Tundra looking for that kill. Don't overextend, and this might happen right now. Yeah, they are going to be able to get the dive. They're running back into the corner now as well. The dead shot keeping them control, but they're just going to the rotation out from Seb now as well. Did get the kill so before he goes down? The arena comes through. He might go down, but they might be able to get some return kills onto this one. Fiend Drake comes through. Laguna Blade onto top of the right place. White Mon. He's going to fall, and it looks like the Chronosphere. Can they get a kill onto Seb? They should be able to now as well. Might even be able to get onto Yuragi. Yuragi drags back into this remnant, but Ari turns up. The Soulmate comes through. BZM on the back lines. Takes down 9 class, and you can see that Thompson just trying to get himself away with those astral steps. Will be far enough away. It looks like if he can look for a T TP, Just two seconds, no, Ari TP's in. Where's the Bushwhack? It can it will connect in the trees. That is the worst place to be. Even with the, the LSA coming out now as well. Thompson trying to get the simulate, trying to get himself away into the TPs. Anything, the right click damage, it might just be enough. Oh. It is, and BZM picks it up. Pop Thompson. Pretty precarious position, but he doesn't know about it. Oh, no, no. LSA is going to be there into the arena, into the spear, into the Laguna Blade. Yuragi, he cleans up Pure. And that was most of uh, Pure's health as well. Just a really good combo. Nine class chase down. Now he's going to be able to dodge off the LSA with the right clicks. It might just be oh, enough. It is enough. God. From gold behind the Lena in terms of position one to position one. He's 3,000 gold behind the TA and he did say it was a greedy lineup here for OG but they are finding the farm, they are finding the kills. They're gonna find another kill on Thompson. Whisper just sets up, spear back to the tree and says thank you very much. Thunder just doesn't find a way out of it. Yeah, you saw the odds on the screen there. Nearly a flat one for OG and the uh, 8.5. In fact, they might go up a little bit more now if 9 class goes down here. So the damage coming out, Aegis will be popped. They are going to be trying to go into the high ground. 9 class goes down to Whisper. Do they get the kill to Thompson? He was trying to do what he can, but the Chronosphere, though, it might be enough to keep him alive. Do they have the damage to take down the Lina? The Lina is going to fall, but Tundra, they do still lose tops, and he's going to go down after this fight. We'll see. Magic missiles, so Seb will fall. Maybe some voice lines to follow up, but uh, Chase coming out from the, the three heroes here. And now the Ghost Book M. See the spear back to the tree. Chakram, it's not going to be enough. The bushwhack comes through. And surely BZM is going to be able to right-click him down inside this little ravine here. The little pool. But MC, can he get himself away from this one? He needs a tree to jump away to. Do they have the control? They have the right-clicks. And BZM has the kill. Yeah, you catch all five heroes on the side of OG without catching any of your own. Oh, Tops in the Nightmare might save him for a little bit. He's going to be able to go for the double Astral Step away here. Uh, White Mon, not overcommitting, but the jump in. Spear, trap. The spear's not going to connect, but the jump from Whisper. Silence, though. Gosbuke. Yeah, Dissimulate now. He's only got that one ring now. And Yuragi gets the kill onto White Mon. The Sharpshooter comes through with the arena. No way out for Topson. And Ari, he takes down Topson. Uh, BZM, he doesn't want to stop. He's got himself the blink. He's got himself 14 charges on the death. So going towards that Daedalus now as well. He's not going to be too far away from it. I think he's got the gold. Just maybe waiting for the courier to go to the side shop. Brave inside the high ground. But he's just going to try and chip down onto this last Rax here in the bottom lane. In fact, does he get it um, contested? He does with the help of BZM. Okay. 
Jump in. Arena comes out now as well. There is going to be Pierce Avail coming out here. What can they do? Follow up. Topson's going to dive onto the back lines. Mars taking a lot of damage. Grip. Fiends grip will be here, but Whisper, no way he gets out alive. Drive back into the remnant. Topson dives himself forward. Does secure the kill onto Whisper, but not before Whisper gets a kill onto Whitemon. All right, OG maybe expecting the Chrono to be forced. They were trying to force a mistake here. Oh, they find. Glenn, yeah. They've got the kill. Laguna Blade comes out onto Thompson now as well. Thompson is dead. 45 seconds on the sidelines. Right click's coming out onto MC. MC has to get that timber chain away. Yeah, Nine Class buys back onto this one. Does Thompson want to buy back now as well? They're going to try and go for that dead shot. BZM going to be able to dodge it off though, walking himself away. The right clicks. Time walk oh. away from Pure. Look at this. The distance on the right clicks coming out from BZM just onto this tier 3 tower. They want to ideally save Thompson's buyback. But it's all that Chronosphere. If you don't get a perfect Chronosphere... Oh, really good Ooh, damage. Oh, no, the swap. Seb, he keeps BZM alive now. Chronosphere does come through. Does he have the protection? Oh, Refractor okay, charge. Is he going to be stunned up? Do you have the control? The Nightmare keeps him alive for a little bit longer, but it will be the Ryagi. Going to be able to finish off that kill. Spear comes through. They take down MC. They're going to be able to take down absolutely everybody, it seems like, here. Standing in their way. Right click. Nine class will fall. They've got Thompson, though. Thompson will be able to get the kill onto BZM. BZM goes down, but it might cost him his life. The LSA, it does connect Nightmare. Keep it for a little bit longer, but oh. only for a little bit longer. As Pure buys back in. No Chronosphere, though. This is Butch and Sundance time coming out for Tundra. They are stirring down the barrel of, of a firing squad. Well, we did go through the timer of game number number two. So we are now yeah. getting close to 27 minutes. Yeah. The reason Pure Chrono is the swap was used, but Yuragi was in the perfect position to stun him and right click yeah. him in the Chrono, and now he dies back, and then. Yeah, I think, oh, the arena coming through now as well. It looks like they're just going to try and clean up absolutely everybody. And LSA, it can actually do the damage. And GG is going to be called OG. 40 kills in 27 minutes. And a 27k uh, net worth lead here. This is just so impressive by OG.